<laughs> uh, this app review is for scrollable contact widget beta. And this one, the name is kind of weird. So if you're searching for it, uh, it's scrollable space contact, no space widget, and then a space and beta. So yeah, if you want to type that out, we'll have a link to at brain right on the website. So you can just click through on that and, uh, yeah, no problem at all. This, uh, let's see for scrollable contact widget beta, just to spit out the whole, the whole name of the thing. Uh, it comes with a bunch of different uh, widget options, which is really cool uh, because you don't really see, like you'll see widgets that uh, just have a couple different things. These these people are really uh, filling out the uh, the lineup. So from like top to bottom here, you'll see I selected a one by four widget, and basically this one is a, a scrollable widget. So you have to have a home screen replacement. Uh, like ADW Launcher or uh, what, like Launcher Pro. So if you have something like that, you just go into the preferences. I think the Launcher Pro uh, comes with the uh, scrollable widgets by default. So if they, if it, uh, if if it doesn't, just go into your settings or whatever. Uh, you might end up with an error if you try it at first. Um, but it's kind of cool. Like you'll see, like, it has a little scroll bar right there. Uh, to flip through and it does like this you can change you know different groups like uh, on your on your phone you have different groups set up uh, manually if you want to um, but most Android phones come with the uh, default uh, favorites group which I set up as my uh, widget uh, group preference you know uh, to display so all of them just scroll right up and down on the desktop. You can click any person on the group and uh, it will pop up with the uh, default like Android contact interface uh, that goes across there. Um, so for, and again, this is my wife. She's probably going to love that I keep using her for an example on here. Um, it just shows how much you appreciate her. There you go. <laughs> um, but then you have, uh, once this pops up, one click access to call view the contact, text, email, uh, view their address or whatever. And it's, if you have more information, I'll scroll side to side, like I think for maybe for Brad, if I click on him. And if you have, if you have a faster phone, uh, you'll get better performance out of this. That's pretty cool. Um, but you could click right there for Google Talk. If you have their website stored, uh, it'll, you can click right through to take that, uh, to go right to that. That's pretty sweet. So let me bring up the, the widget options here. So I long press on home and go to widgets. Uh, that's whenever you install a widget app, you can't just open the app. Uh, once it installs, you long press on your home screen and then click on widgets. That's where it will be. Uh, oddly enough, this is stored as contact widget. It doesn't, like underneath your widget menu, you think to go down to scrollable contact, you know, whatever. Um, but no, that's not where it's listed. And it comes with six different widgets. Uh, all kinds of different options, so you can uh, depending on how your like your home screen set up, <laughs> uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. So I'll pull up the two by two, uh, just to give you an idea of what the settings screen looks like uh, once you access that. Up at the very top, it has contact group, and this is where I'm talking about. Uh, you can list out all your contacts, which I really don't. I don't recommend. It's going to be way too much scrolling. Uh, but I do favorites. You can set the size, the background, uh, black, white, and transparent. I like using transparent. And I disable the contact names because uh, most of them I pretty much know by picture, but you can leave them on there if you like. And then hit save, and you will should come back with uh, a nice little uh, widget over there. This one's the 2x2, two two, and I can just flick up and down through there. And it takes up just uh, a little bit of space. One thing I kind of don't like about this, so it looks like it's a, yeah, sure, it's a two by two widget, but it's not really doing any action on here that you couldn't get out of a one by two. I don't know if I uh, go to the widget options like that, if I can bring up a, a one by two, it looks like it would be the same. So I'm not really sure what the point is of having a, a two by two widget. So, but I mean, a couple small critiques. What are you going to do, right? Yeah. Can't, it can't all be perfect. Um, so let me pull this up 
favorites. I'll just skip through the rest of that stuff and hit save. And that's a nice uh, black background. It does. It, it, it looks kind of reminiscent of uh, HTC's Sense UI. So, and this of course has the names and everything in there too. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it does. It does give you a little bit more room for the image space on there. So, scrollable contact widget. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I wasn't really using too many of uh, too many widgets before. Um, but this is one that I found is actually a very uh, worthwhile and useful widget to have on your home screen. So if you have an Android phone and you want to make your iPhone friends jealous, this is definitely a way to do it. <laughs>